Hi you guys, what is up? So today I am doing a recommendations video or the if you like this book then you'll like this book tag. I don't know who created it so I will have them linked below. I have 10 book recommendations for you guys. It's on my computer and you might be thinking where the freak are you Jalen? Because you're not by your beautiful bookcases but your beautiful books are next to you. Um, so we had to paint my room. So we took, I, I did it, not we, it was me. So I took all my books off my bookshelves and put them in my window seal and they took up literally the entire thing but it looks really freaking awesome so I decided I was going to keep it there until I filmed this video and then I have to put them back on right after. So that that's the answer to the question that you were all thinking. So I have 10 amazing books to recommend to you guys. So I am just going to jump right in because I am on a timer because the pizza man is coming in. I don't want to miss him. So let's go. So first, if you like the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrout, which is about aliens and a love story and a book blogger and a really hot guy, really hot, then you will like Alienated by Melissa Landers, which is also about aliens, has a really hot guy, has a love story. She's not a book blogger, but she's kind of a nerd e ish. Like, she's not nerdy, nerdy, but she's kind of like into the books in school, you know? So, you will definitely like that book. Trust me, they're both amazing. Next, if you like The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings, then you will like When by Victoria Laurie. Um, when is about this girl and she sees death dates on people's foreheads and really the only things that I put these two together for were is it has to do with death and stuff and really when got me out of my reading slump and the murder complex kept me out of it so it kind of they hold a special place in my heart now except I'm back in it now so you know that's good when the girl sees the death dates and all of a sudden, these people start going missing who she says are going to go missing. But people oh, don't believe that she's not the killer and that she can just see these death dates. So they just assume that she's the killer and she's not. And so it's this big mystery that I love mysteries. They're just so good. So definitely check When by Victoria Lurie out. I love it so much. It's not even funny. Next, I have The Distance Between Us by Casey West and Joyride by Anna Banks. And these are both contemporary novels. And Joyride by Anna Banks comes out, I think, June 2nd. So you guys should definitely check it out when it comes out because it's really good. And The Distance Between Us, you know, there's the rich and the poor. And in this, it's more, it's a little bit different. It's not so much as rich and poor, even though it is. It's more about, like, immigrants and love and all that stuff I just it's so good you just need to check it out to know and number four is the Gallagher Girls by Allie Carter so if you like the Gallagher Girls you're probably gonna like the Christie trilogy by Cindy M Hogan so they're up there in that corner they're right there see the faces that I have and it's about this girl who sees something that she's not supposed to with this big group of friends and then there's this terrorist group that is after them because they saw something they weren't supposed to and then she becomes a spy and it's just awesome and she has this companion series that goes with it so you should definitely just check it out it's really awesome okay sorry I had to go get the pizza from the pizza guy and then I ate half of it and I really don't feel good now and I went and got my glasses because I accidentally left them upstairs and I didn't want to go get them but I went and got them when the pizza man came so Back to the video, which I took a break from. So, next is number five, and it is If You Like Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss, then you'll probably like Kiss of Fire by Rebecca Ethington. And if you guys don't know what Throne of Glass is about, it's about a girl who's an assassin, and she's just freaking awesome, and I love her. It's my favorite series in the whole entire world. Okay, Kiss of Fire is about a girl who gets thrown into this world of magic and she actually has magic of her own. And there's just all this magic and craziness and battles and wars and it's just so good. So you guys should definitely check that one out too. Next, if you like The Selection by Kira Cass, you'll probably like To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. The second book called P.S. I Still Love You comes out in May, I believe. 
So I'm really excited for that to come out. I think it's going to be a really awesome. And the selection, you know, it's like The Bachelor with castles and dresses and 35 girls. And P.S. I Still Love You is a contemporary sort of like that. And what goes on is this girl writes her love letters and to like the five boys she's ever loved and she puts them in this little box and one day they get sent out and all these boys are like coming and talking to her and they're all like oh I really like you too and it's just crazy and it's awesome and I love it so you guys should definitely check that one out too. Next is if you like Cinder by Marissa Meyer you'll probably like The Fairest Beauty by Melanie Dickerson. So you all know what Cinder's about. It's about Cinderella and she's a cyborg and it's a fairy tale retelling. Um, the Fairest Beauty is also a fairy tale retelling and it is about Snow White and it is such a good love story and I really love it and there's a bunch of companion novels I believe that I still need to get to but I really want to read so you should definitely check that out. Next is so if you loved The Fault in Our Stars by John Green which who doesn't you will probably love If I Stay by Gail Foreman and I know a lot of people have read that book too but I just I really love them because they're both like tragic love stories kind of and I just think they're both so good and I cried through both of them like literally sobbed so they're both just really sad but they're so good and I love them so much now if you've only read If I Stay and you're like, oh, I hate that, okay? You have got to read the second one. It is kind of painful because it's just not what you expect it to be and it's not what you want it to be, but just push through and trust me, it'll all work out in the end. I actually really like the ending. I know some people are like, eh, I don't like it that much, but I do. So just read the second one, push through. Ninth is, if you like Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi, you will probably like The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. So, in both of them they are teens and they have powers and they're kind of like hunted because of them and I really like both of them a lot. I've only read the first and half of the second in The Darkest Minds but I did really like it so I decided to put that in there because that's like the only thing I could compare it to and so yes definitely check both of those books out. Next and last is Uninvited by Sophie Jordan and a reboot by Amy Chintera. In Reboot, I feel like it's kind of like a disease what they have. Like when you die, I mean, you get, you come back alive and you get this disease in here that could kill you and it makes you go crazy in Uninvited. And I just think that they both, they, they really remind me of one another and I love both of them a lot. So if you haven't read either of those, go check those ones out too. All of these books are super awesome and fun and I love them all so much. Obviously, Throne of Glass is my all-time favorite book ever, of ever, of ever, of ever. And then I love The Selection. It's like my next favorite book. But I literally love all these series uh, so much. So definitely check them out if you have not because they will all be so good, especially if you're in a reading slump. Preferably pick like a contemporary because you don't want to start like a hardcore series with seven books. It's just not good for you. Been there, done that. Don't do it. So I'm going to try and pre-film a couple of videos because I am going to sell my camera and I'm going to get a T5i instead because I need autofocus for my other channel. And so I am going to maybe go for a time without a camera. I hope not. I'm hoping to buy the T5i today. And so I hope I'll be able to sell my um, camera and iPad. I have an iPad mini that I want to sell. So I'm hoping to be able to sell both of those and buy this new camera that I can get for $500. Because I'm not going to get a brand new one because I don't feel like I need a really brand new one. And so I'm just going to get a used one that's like new. So those are my recommendations for you guys. Go follow me on Instagram at ever underscore after books and also on Twitter at ever underscore after books. And I have told you guys this in the past couple of videos, but I recently started a new channel and it is just under my name, Jalen Phillips. And I do like vlogs or like food videos and DIYs and just kind of those lifestyle videos. So you can go check that out. I will have it linked here or you can click the link down below. Or I like, I don't like my own videos, so... I get an extra like. I like my videos so that it pops up in my feed so you guys can see 
that I have uploaded. I don't just do it just to toot my own horn. So that's, <laughs> clear that up. I'm not just like liking my videos for fun. I hate when people like their own like Instagram photos. It's like, of course you like it. You uploaded it. But that is why I like my own videos. I don't do it for fun. But go check that out. I am having so much fun with that channel and I have so many awesome videos planned. So definitely go check that out and subscribe. Comment below. Let's see. Comment below if you have any video ideas for me. I am kind of running out of ideas. I have a couple that I'm going to pre-film. I have like five or six but I kind of want to get a couple more because I don't like ever running out of ideas because then it kind of stresses me out. So if you have any video ideas, let me know below and hit that like button. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye! Hi guys, what's up? My name's Jaylen and today I'm doing a new kind of video. I am basically just telling you all of, not all, because that's a lot, a bunch of releases that are coming out in April 2015. Hi you guys, so I decided that I was going to vlog today because I-